What's going on guys? The NFL draft is over, which means best ball fantasy football season is about to begin. To kick things off, I'm giving you my top 10 rookie rankings for fantasy football, along with my ceiling outcome, best case scenario for each rookie in this list. Hit that like button and subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Let's get into it. At number 10, we got Rashad White. We know playoff Lenny is going to be the RB1 for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but Rashad White has a legitimate chance to be a running back three in fantasy if he can just get the third down roll with Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. He's going to be a very intriguing late round pick in best ball leagues. His best case scenario for his first year and years to come as David Johnson, very similar abilities out of the backfield. Rashad White's going to have to improve as a runner though to hit this range of outcome. At number nine in my rookie fantasy football rankings, I got Jamison Williams, who would definitely be higher on this list if it weren't for his injury. Before he tore his ACL, many people had him as the wide receiver one in this stacked wide receiver class. He does have pretty tough target competition. DJ Chark is there now. Among Us, St. Brown is going to continue to ball. And DeAndre Swift and TJ Hawkinson are going to need to eat as well. So the target volume upside is not going to be there year one for Jamison Williams, but the talent is definitely there when he's healthy. I have his ceiling best case scenario range of outcome in the NFL as being a better Mike Wallace. Number eight in my fantasy football rookie rankings is James Cook. Dalvin Cook's brother should slide in as the immediate RB2 for the Buffalo Bills offense that could be number one in the NFL this season. He's going to be behind Devin Singletary, but he could carve out the goal line work, and he also has a chance to carve out the pass catching work, which the Bills have clearly been looking for. If James Cook can get either of those roles, he's going to have weekly running back two upside. I have the ceiling best case scenario as a faster version of Dalvin Cook. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Coming in at 7th overall my rookie fantasy football rankings is Chris Olave. Chris Olave is a very polished route runner. He can run every single part of the route tree. He's going to slide in immediately as the wide receiver 2 right behind the slant king, Michael Thomas for the Saints. I expect plenty of wide receiver 3 plus weeks for Chris Olave. I think he's one of the most underrated wide receivers in this draft class and he has one of the safest floors. His ceiling is pretty exciting too. I have a ceiling because of his route running as a Stefan Diggs type player in the NFL. At number six in my fantasy football rookie rankings is Christian Watson at 6'4", 208 pounds. He's a 98th percentile size adjusted athlete who can absolutely take the top off of any defense. There are some concerns for Christian Watson though. He went to North Dakota State University. He never topped a thousand yards against pretty subpar competition. He lands on easily the worst wide receiver depth chart, but he also lands in Green Bay as Probably the number one wide receiver for Aaron Rodgers. I already know I'm going to have way too much Christian Watson in best ball drafts this offseason. I have his best case ceiling scenario as Chase Claypool. Coming in at number five on my fantasy football rookie rankings list is Kenneth Walker. He's going to be competing with the corpse of Chris Carson and Rashad Penny to get touches in the Seahawks backfield. Even if both Chris Carson and Rashad Penny are healthy, Kenneth Walker has a clear path to 10 plus carries per game in one of the, if not the most run heavy offense. I have Kenneth Walker's ceiling best case scenario as a worse version, a slightly worse version of Nick Chubb. He doesn't have very much receiving upside, but he is an absolute beast and has 95th percentile speed in the backfield. Coming in at fourth overall in my rookie fantasy football rankings is Garrett Wilson, who is my pre-draft wide receiver one in this class, and I still believe he's the all-around most talented wide receiver in this draft class. I expect him to be the 1A to Elijah Moore's 1B. I expect him to operate on the outside while Elijah Moore works more on the inside, and I also expect Garrett Wilson to expand in this offense over time. The bad news for Garrett Wilson is he's going to have Zach Wilson throwing him the ball. So Garrett Wilson has a really wide range of outcomes, mostly going to be tethered to how much better can Zach Wilson get? I have Garrett Wilson's best case range of outcome as a faster Reggie Wynn. Coming in at number three in my rookie fantasy football rankings is Brees Hall, who was pretty clearly the top running back in this draft class, and he was the first running back taken off the board. If they do rotate in Michael Carter and Tevin Coleman on second and third downs, and especially in the red zone, then Brees Hall is likely going to be more of a running back two than a running back one. But I'd say running back two is Brees Hall's floor. He's essentially a younger Saquon Barkley without any of the injury history. That's his ceiling. Coming in at number two in my fantasy football rookie rankings is Traylon Burks. He's going to step in immediately as the wide receiver one for the Tennessee Titans with Robert Woods coming off the ACL likely going to be the wide receiver two. Traylon Burks played in the slot about 70% of the time in college, but he's likely going to be transitioning to more of an outside role. 
the same type of role that A.J. Brown has been in the past few years. Traylon Burks only has 50th percentile speed, but at 6'2", 225 pounds, you better bet that he is very difficult to take down after the catch. I have Traylon Burks' best case ceiling scenario as Jordy Nelson. Coming in at number one in my fantasy football rookie rankings is Drake London, the first wide receiver taken in this year's NFL draft. Drake London finds himself in by far the worst wide receiver depth chart in the NFL. Drake London has incredible jump ball skills, and there's a very good chance he leads this year's rookie wide receivers in targets. Based on volume alone, Drake London should be a weekly wide receiver two with wide receiver one upside. I have a ceiling best case scenario as Mike Evans. Those are my top 10 rookies for fantasy football this year. Let me know what you think in the comments and make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button so you don't miss our videos coming out every single week leading up to the fantasy football season. And as always, a friendly reminder that time is the most valuable thing we have. And thank you so much for spending some time watching this video.